So last class we have discussed about the MQTT model, architecture, and some of the applications, and overview of packet structure. Okay. So let me summarize the packet structure of MQTT. Actually, MQTT packet has three fields: fixed header, variable header, and uh, payload. And this fixed header is present in all the packets, and size is. Uh, size of this header is 2 bytes and variable header and payload are not uh, present in all the packets so the size of variable header and payload is variable okay so this so this diagram describes mqtt message format so the message type so first one is the mqtt fixed header so the message type represents a connection type request and each value of message type represents different combination that is different connection request it is a 4 bit length and this field shows the 16 connection request from 0 to 15 please look at this table so we have 16 connection request under the category of message type from 0 to 15 okay so as uh, I already explained, these four bits, that is duplicate QoS level, that is quality of service level. So it indicates the assurance of message delivery. So there are uh, three uh, quality of service, that is 0, 1 and 2. Okay, And 7 to 1, the seventh bit is the retime flag. So what is the purpose of retime flag? Any idea about it? What is the purpose of retime flag? So in fixed uh, header, we have uh, uh, two fields. So byte one includes message type, duplicate flag, quality of service level and retain flag. Okay, retime flag is one means the broker or server will hold or store the packet. Okay, will hold or store the packet. Suppose if it is zero means broker will not hold the packet. So that is the purpose of this retime. And next remaining length, number of bytes left within current packet. So this will represent number of packets left within these header files. That is header columns that is variable length header and variable length message payload okay so these things i have already explained in the previous class so actually mqtt control packet structure is different for different uh, mqtt request so this field um, shows in which request the variable header is present or not okay so for connect request it will be available for connect acknowledge this one is not present in the variable header similarly in payload this table that is this field shows in which request the payload is required or not for these cases it will be required and for these it will not be required okay so we are going to concentrate for uh, connections that is connect connect acknowledge publish and subscribe okay we will see one by one so this is the packet structure for connect message format so what is the purpose of this request please tell me what is the purpose of this one so what is the purpose of connect request Harish, you can unmute and tell, tell the answer. What is the purpose of connect request? Harish? Ma'am, to ensure uh, the connection with the... Uh, mm. so, uh, for example, if there, if uh, there is client a... To client to broker or broker to client? 
ma'am uh, actually cl- actually client has to uh, actually client has to establish a connection before transmitting data no ma'am yes ma'am. so oh. for that uh, purpose for ensuring uh, a proper kind of proper transmission of data without okay. any loss actually uh, the important thing is mqtt is a tcp ip based protocol yes, so first there would be a tcp connection establishment so this packet is the first packet sent by client to broker after your tcp connection is established okay so so here uh, please look at this message uh, format all the three fields are present in connect request packet that is your mixed header fixed header and variable header and optional payload so all the three fields are present in connect request packet so first one is the message type so in message type the value for this connect message request 0001 so here your header flag remaining all the bits are zero okay so what is the value 10 so header flag content is 10 where one represent that is the this one represent your connect request okay so here your du- duplicate flag not say uh, quality of service level 0 is selected and retain flag not set and remaining length will be 30 so remaining length will be 30 i will explain that later okay so according to this first column your message connection type is according to this table please look at this table so what is the value 0001 connect request the value will be 1 so 0001 message type is 1 remaining all the flags are 0 so header flag content is 0x10 where one represent connect command and zero represent your header flag header flags all will be zero and remaining length 30 okay and next field describes your protocol name protocol name protocol length and after that version okay so protocol name length this field shows length of protocol name that is here protocol length is 4 mqtt so each character takes one byte so protocol name length 4 okay that is 0x 04 so this field takes two bytes please note it down a next protocol name so this Uh, consist of four characters so each character takes one byte so totally four bytes for mqtt four bytes for protocol name four bytes okay and next one is the protocol version so the version of protocol is 4 so this one takes one byte so protocol name takes two bytes the protocol length takes two bytes protocol name four bytes version takes one byte totally seven bytes for these two fields okay and uh, next field is connect flag bits so this field represent connect field the connect flag so we have seven flags username flag password flag will retain will queue quality of service will flag clean session and the last bit is reserved for future implementation okay so i will explain one by one so first one is the user flag so here a uh, user flag is one means user name must be present in payload actually payload we have two columns user name and password so this one depends on this flag if the flag is one means user name must be present in the payload uh, uh, header 
otherwise it will not be present okay and in case of password if password is one means password must be present in payload okay otherwise it must not be present in payload so it's completely these two fields uh, depends on these two flags username flag and password flag okay and next one is the will flag so parallelly you can check the status of connect flag 0x02 zero zero so 0000 zero, 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 zero. again 0 zero, 010 zero, zero. so which bit is enable 0x02 zero, zero, means clean session only enable remaining all the bits will be zero okay 0x02 zero, zero, okay So next flag will flag. So this will flag one means the will quality of service and we uh, will read time flags will be used by server. Okay. So these two bits completely depends on this will flag. If the bit is one means this quality of service and uh, uh, will read time flags must be present in payload. So payload. contains will topic and will message okay so will flag is one means will uh, q uh, qos and will retain fields in connect flags will be used by server and also at the same time will topic and will message must be present in payload suppose if will flag is zero means will q q qos and will retain fields uh, fields in connect flags must be set to zero and will topic and will message must not be present in payload so it completely depends on will flag okay if it is set these two fields uh, will be present in payload field otherwise it will not be present okay and next one so here what is will read time i i, I have already explained read time plan what is the purpose of will read time so if it is zero what will happen if it is one what will happen please tell me so if it is zero the messages won't be retained by server or broker if it is one means message will be retained by broker or server similar to your retained flag okay and will uh, quality of service based on your selection zero zero means um, your quality of service uh, zero was selected otherwise one selected or two selected based on the input uh, your will uh, quality of service will be selected it takes two bits Three and four, okay, and uh, this one is clean session. So if the bit is one means the client and server must discard previous session and start a new session, okay. So a broker does not store any information about the client in case of clean session. Bit is equal to one, okay. If it is zero means uh, it will carry last session data. That is last session status. so always this bit is 1 so make this bit is 1 so the connect flag content 0x02 so according to the uh, protocol format so your user flag is not set your user flag is not set means your user name must not be present in payload password is not set so pass password will not present in optional payload and uh, will flag is 0 means these two are 0 and will topic and will message must not be present in optional payload and clean session will be one here it is say and uh, last one is the future implementation okay so your connect flag content 0x02 so these flag are very important in order to establish the connection between your uh, client and broker okay and next one is the keep alive So what is keep alive means it is a duration here it's just 60 second okay when subscriber or client is idl means that is not receiving data from broker okay that situation it will send ping ping request to broker continuously okay sending ping request to broker again and again to maintain a connection 
so that is called keep alive so default keep alive duration is 60 second this noted down this is very important so in our program the default value for keep alive is 60 second okay so next uh, so here this part is over your mqtt fixed header and next variable header in variable header the keep alive timer msb take uh, takes one byte and lsb takes one byte next uh, uh, field is optional next next header is optional payload so the payload of connect packet has client identifier and also along with length the length is missing please note it down length along with client identifier with length so the payload of connect packet has client identifier length will topic will message username and password okay so here client identifier is nothing but the name of the client connecting to the server here for example the client id length is 18 okay so client id name is this one okay so so how many uh, that is the remaining length of this actually 30 remaining length is 30 okay so here 0x04 takes two bytes and this one mqtt protocol name takes four bytes and the version takes one byte so totally how many bytes two plus four plus one seven bytes and connect flag one byte So protocol length, protocol name and version takes 7 bytes. Okay. Plus your connect flag 1 byte. This one. 1 byte. Keep alive timer. It takes 2 bytes. One for LSB, another one for, one for MSB. 2 bytes. Okay. Next length that is client length 18 so 2 bytes so totally how many bytes 7 plus 1 plus 2 plus 2 so 12 bytes okay and Client ID takes 18 bytes. Client ID 18. So 12 plus 18, 30. So your remaining length of your header, 30. Any doubts? The connect packet. Just go. So refer this table for better understanding of the connect message format so first one is the message type this is the message type and message type includes your message type and along with your header flags and remaining length will be 30 and this field represents your protocol length and protocol name and version along with connect flags and keep alive timer msb and lsb and this is for optional payload in optional payload we have client id length and client id so up to this it takes 12 bytes along with your client id 18 bytes so remaining length will be 30 bytes any doubts 12 plus 18, 30. Hmm? So, shall we move on to the next request? So, next uh, request will be uh, your uh, connect acknowledge. So, it's a very simple format.
to connect the acknowledge packet is sent from broker to client okay there is broker to client when broker receives connect request packet so based on the connect request packet it will acknowledge the request using this connect acknowledgement request only fixed header fixed header and variable header so the message type is 2 so 0x20 so do a uh, duplicate flag not set quality of service level 0 is selected retain flag not set and remaining length will be 2 bytes and one byte is reserved for future modification and next one uh, represent your connect return code from broker side so we have 256 combination connect return code so zero means your connection is successful if broker return zero means the connection is successful so return code is sent by broker to client okay so this table represents your connect return code so if it is zero means connection has been accepted so this is about connection acknowledgement and this message format is very important Publish message. So, what is the purpose of publish message? So, this packet is sent by publisher to broker, that is client to broker. So, clear from client side to broker side. Okay. So, what is the purpose of this publisher packet? So it is sent by publisher to broker when publisher wants to publish or send data to broker. So that is the purpose of this publish message packet. So here message type is 3, duplicate flag, quality of service level and retain flag. Similar to our connect packet, remaining length. So here remaining length will be 18 according to this example. So header flag size is 3, 0. That is 0. 0, 1, 1, remaining all the bits are 0. Okay. And topic length takes 2 bytes. So, one for MSB, another one is for LSB. So, topic length 4 here and topic name, for example, test and message id so this message id depends on your quality of service if quality of service is one this message id is present in the packet otherwise it will be absent okay so depends on quality of service if it is one means this message id is present okay and next your publish message so find out the year so please describe this 18 packets Remaining length 18. So topic length, how many bytes? For your topic name, how many bytes it will take? For message, how many bytes it will take? So describe this 18 bytes. Message remaining length 18 bytes. So, topic length takes how many bytes? Please tell me. So, how many bytes it will take? Two. Two bytes, okay. This four. And test message, each character takes one byte, so totally twelve. So how, how many 12 plus 4 plus 2 remaining length will be 18. Okay. Next one is the subscribe. So it's similar to publish. The only difference message ID and the topic name is must here. And the last one represents your quality of service. So message type 8, so 82. The value, the fixed header value 82. That is 0, that is 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0. So here your quality of services, 
1. 0, 1 means 1. Okay. So remaining length is 9 and identifier message identifier topic length topic name is compulsory here and quality of service zero here so for payload the quality of service is zero in fixed header the quality of service is one it is mandatory so that's all about subscribe so four important packets Connect packet, connect acknowledge, publish and subscribe. Okay. So we are going to understand about how to use Baho Python MQTT client. So for that we will be using this Hive MQ broker for all the Python scripts and MQTT based demos. Okay. So before we start, um, we must understand MQTT Baho client object and its methods. Okay, so we start with very uh, basic script and built on that script to demonstrate important uh, request that is connect, disconnect, publish, subscribe, and callback functions. Callback functions are very important in MQTT Baho client object. So callback functions such as on connect, on message, on disconnect, on log callbacks. Okay. So have you installed this one? Baho MQTT from command prompt. Ashwin Ram is ma'am. What about others? Atik Baba is girl side. Have you installed the client? Okay, two ma'am. Please install it. Otherwise, it's very difficult to follow the Python code. Hmm? To install. Okay. So we can use free online brokers like test up mosquito actually uh, this broker is not completely online we can install this broker in our system okay and these two are online that is broker hive mq.com and iot dot eclipse.org so these uh, two are online so in our demos i am going to use this one broker dot hive mq.com so the main client methods uh, these are important main client methods of Baho MQTT client. Connect, publish, subscribe, check the received messages using loops and callback functions. Okay. So after installation, you have to check this library. So if there are no errors, means the model installed correctly. Okay. Just copy, copy this command that is import MQTT Baho client. So there are no errors. So this model is installed successfully. So please note out the outline of the script. So the these four steps are main, uh, main steps in order to implement your MQTT protocol. Please note down these four steps. Create new client instance, connect to broker, subscribe to topic, publish message. So Baho MQTT client class has several methods and um, the main ones connect disconnect subscribe unsubscribe and publish and each of these method is associated with a callback function the callback function user has to write okay uh, there are no libraries uh, support callback function we have to define the that is user or programmer has to define callback functions in order to uh, monitor or keep tracking the subscribing subscribe messages okay so please note down some important point. So this one describes how to create a client instance. So this is the syntax. So your client constructor 
takes four optional parameters client id clean session user data protocol version and transport which type of transport your mqt mqtt follows tcp ip okay So, oh, example for this particular command, client is equal to mqtt dot client client name. For example, Python. So, this is the syntax. Okay. So, general syntax is this one. You ignore remaining all the things user data protocol version and transfer just client is equal to mqtt dot client and client name so this name is user defined name any name you can give okay so the first step you have to create new client instance next connect to broker using this com uh, command we can connect the client to the broker that is client dot connect comma host name so we need to supply the broker name or ip address example so broker we are using broker please note it down broker dot mqtt hyphen dashboard dot com so broker is equal to broker dot mqtt hyphen dashboard dot com so after uh, assigning this broker uh, ip address so you have to connect the broker so the command for this client dot connect inside you can give your broker name so because this broker ip address is assigned with this variable so client dot connect in bracket broker okay So this is your MQTT dashboard. That is high MQ. So this MQTT dashboard utilizes high MQTT broker, high MQ MQTT broker. So here we can use any MQTT client or library to publish to the broker. Okay. So in dashboard you can see uh how many messages that is how many outgoing messages are there how many incoming messages are there and also subscription so how many subscription under this broker retained messages bytes read bytes written and queued message and mqtt session here you can see how many clients are currently active over here so four nine eight eight is keep on changing so these clients are active now okay and check the mqtt connection setting please note it down host is broker dot hype mq dot com and dcp port 1883 and web socket port 800 so this is the url mqtt dash dashboard dot com okay So please note down the uh, syntax alone. So for publishing message, uh, it takes actually uh, optionally uh, takes uh, four parameters: topic, payload, quality of service, read time. So this one is your topic. House is the main topic. So house is the main topic. Light is the subtopic. So this is the topic name. On is your message. That is payload message. So this syntax is to be followed for publishing the messages for subscribing topic comma quality of service.
So first example, how to use Baho Python MQTT client. Okay. So let's start with our first script. So first thing, what we do is we have to import this MQTT uh, client. Next, import time for generating time delays. So these two steps are mandated. First, you have to import Baho uh, client and import time for generating some delays. And three lines are commented here. These three lines are online brokers. So we are using this broker. Okay. So assign this broker to the variable broker and create new instant. And after that, uh, I just printing a message saying that we are connecting to broker. After that, what is the step? You have to connect to the broker. So the instruction is client dot connect broker and wait a little while that is for four seconds and then we disconnect from the broker. So I have executed this code in two different uh, broker. One is test mosquito org, another one is the broker mqtt dashboard. Okay. So let's run this code. See, you have to import this one, import time, and define your broker, create a new client, and connect to broker, and disconnect from broker. So let's see what happens when we run this code. So here a message saying that connecting to broker. And here the important thing is there is no real indication other than that printing message. Suppose we want to access the features of that is broker features, then we should know about the callbacks. Okay. So next class we will see about loops and callback function. Okay. Next class I will explain how to write callback function in order to process your messages. Okay. Any doubts up to this? Any clarification? I will share this code. Oh, please try uh, this uh, how to use Baho Python client. That is first exercise in your system. Is that clear? Students, please respond. Okay. So please uh, try the uh, first code how to use the Baho Python MQTT client. Okay. So all are present. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Any doubts regarding your MQTT packet structure and Baho Python client, MQTT client? Yes or no? No doubts. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.